what's up you guys it's me again momo and today i i got my first magical girl wand and i am stoked so i actually thought that my first magical girl wand was going to be either the strawberry bell from tokyo Mew Mew or any sailor moon wand but it is not and uh only because i found this coincidentally really like i wasn't searching for it i kind of just typed in the name of this anime and this popped up that anime or manga it's both but uh is shugo kiara the box is adorable i'm obsessed so this is the back and you always have your little japanese girls playing with the magical girl toy on like every box of a magical girl toy ever <laughs> sorry the lighting is really bad but um this is the front I probably already saw it but oh my god this is adorable is it not and this is the amulet heart rod that's what that is and uh i'm gonna open it up it was new and unused uh the only thing is they put it as a little damaged and dirty on the website i bought this from yahoo options or Baiyi, if anyone's wondering um the only reason they put it as a little damaged was because of the box but the item in general is new and unused so there were no batteries when i got this i think that's kind of common for all the magical girl wands and this takes i think it was double a batteries and they're in here right now but i'm not going to keep them in here because i know it'll damage the wand i just put them in here because i want to show you guys what this baby does also you get like a little peek at my oh it's so pretty <laughs> every time i look at that i'm so happy um anyways so this is the wand I think it's adorable it's kind of like a baton and you kind of have this Wii controller wrist <laughs> uh, band thing uh, so when you're waving it around you don't drop it um, and then I love the heart this is my favorite part out of this whole thing oh look at that that is so cute sorry my filter is like <laughs> giving you double chin no double chin um, but yeah this is like rubber but that under it is like, I want to say it's plastic. So yeah, there are two modes on this thing. Uh, it's T and S. I don't know what those are. Too lazy to read the instructions, so I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do T for right now. I'm still learning how to use this thing because I know there's, I think there's different ways to use this or different things it does. So that's what happens when you first turn it on. That's how you know it's on. Oh my god, I am glowing. I feel powerful. Okay, I feel powerful holding this, but like also scared. So that's one. That's like you're waving it around. I think that's all that one does and then I'm gonna go to S mode I think S mode is my favorite and as you're waving it around it lights up and if you keep going so if if you keep going while the music or noise is going she'll end up saying that but if you stop in the middle i don't think it'll she'll say anything so that's the short mode that part she does not say it and that's basically what it is. I think that's all there is to it. Um, I didn't read the instructions, so I don't know. Maybe I'll surprise myself one day. I am so happy that I have this. I sort of, sort of not grew up with Shugo Kiara. 
I remember in, I believe it was either middle school or maybe like my first or second year of high school, I would wait for my mom to pick me up after school. So I had some time to kill, so I would go to the library and I found the manga and I ended up reading it. I don't remember anything except for like literally the first maybe a couple pages, I don't know. But then I remember trying to find the anime of it online, couldn't find it. I could only find the subbed version in Spanish. I don't know, I didn't want that, I can't read Spanish. And um, now look at me, I'm, I'm a magical girl lover. I want to be a magical girl. I am a magical girl in progress. So I am so happy that I have this. I don't know, I really love this. I think the box is adorable. I think the item is adorable. And so I just hang it in the corner behind my um, CL Phantom Hive, what is it, autograph board? I forgot what you call it, but I'll show you. So that's how she's placed, right behind the CL Phantom Hive autograph board. And then it's really convenient because the heart is rubber, so it kind of won't slip. It'll kind of just stick to the wall and stick to the table. So I think it's adorable and it's next to all my magical girl stuff. And there's the Shugo Kiara keychain too, so. Oh yeah, look how cute this is with the filter on. Ah, it's so cute. Oh, this fell because I had my fan on, but there we go. <laughs> and yeah, so that was my first Magical Girl wand. I am so happy that I have it. I still haven't gone back and watched Shugo Kiara, but I remember loving it so much. And the fact that I still love Magical Girls just says that I'm gonna love it even more. You know, when you just have that feeling that you're gonna love a show, I, ha I have so much confidence that I love it. And even if I don't, it's still part of my childhood and it still means something to me. And it's a magical girl item and I couldn't be happier. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you love magical girls and you want to see more of this stuff. I would really appreciate it. Um, I do have magical girl items on my Etsy shop right now. They are um, a Madoka Magica keychain and of Madoka and of Homura and I will bring those right now and show you because I'm not gonna miss this opportunity okay so I recently made these and I I know I say this about a lot of my stuff on Etsy but um, recently I've been really liking my stuff I don't know I I, I am really proud of myself and um, I, I'm just really happy so I love this item so much. I hang all my stuff on my bag, but I'm so happy that I can hang this on my bag, um, even if nobody buys it. So the first one is this adorable Madoka Kaname acrylic keychain. So that's her. Oh my god, she's so cute. And then you have a quote over here. After all, magical girls make hopes and dreams come true. And on the back she has her eyes closed and it says Madoka Kaname because that's a quote by her. And I worked really hard on this and I love how pink it is. I love how, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm genuinely so happy. Uh, and the next one is, of course, her girlfriend, uh, Homura. And she has a quote from her as well. I'll keep wishing for a world where you can be happy because that's basically her goal. This is what makes up Homura. She just wants happiness for her friend. And I think that's so sweet. <laughs> And then at the back, I decided to give her her braids. And it says Homura Akemi. I don't know. I think it's so cute. I thought at first I like didn't have the idea of putting her in with her glasses and braids. But then I was like halfway through sketching. I'm like, wait. <laughs> and I thought it was cute. I thought it added a great touch to it because this is Homura. This is who Homura is. And, um... I don't know, she, she's such a great friend and I love her. So yeah, I think they look adorable next to each other too. This is a Shugo Kiara video, but I kind of rambled on because I was so excited about this. Anyways, if you want to see my figure collections or my other Magical Girl collections, there is a link below uh, that redirects you to the website myfiguercollection.com. Uh, basically there it's like a collecting website you show everybody what you have you have your wish list on there you have what you ordered on there and what's coming in it's a great website overall for collectors so yeah if you want to check out my stuff or add me on there if you have an account under a collector yourself go ahead 
Uh, and I think that's it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and I will see you in the next video, I guess. Alright guys, I'll see you later.